Hey there farmers and farmerettes, I'm Farmer Red, and today I'm super duper excited. We have a bunch of awesome power tools and hand tools, and we're gonna talk about them, learn about them, and even use them. I'm like super duper excited. Hey, are you guys ready? All right, let's check out our very first one. All right, so our very first power tool is what you call a circular saw. And this is one of my favorite power tools, and it's actually one of the most widely used in construction. Now this thing is used for cutting all kinds of stuff, but primarily, it's used for cutting timber. I mean, look at the teeth on this. They're so big and huge. Those are the kind of teeth that would make an alligator or crocodile jealous. Now, I absolutely love this tool and I've used it many, many, many times. Hey, you guys wanna cut some wood with me? All right, I bet y'all do. All right, come on, let's get started. But first, we have to put on our trusty, dusty safety glasses because we gotta protect our eyes, really important. All right, so here we go. Are right, we gonna line it up? Line it up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Woo. See how fast that thing spins? And here's our piece of wood we just cut. Look how awesome and smooth that is. That's a nice cut. Hey, y'all. Well, I got uh, a little carried away with that two by four cutting. And as you can see, I'm pretty deep into a uh, game of giant Jenga. Hey. You guys want to play with me? All right, come on, let's play. Right, let's pull this one so we can stack it up high. Oh no, oh no. All right guys, so our next awesome possum power tool is what you call an impact driver. Now you may have seen something like this if you've ever gone with your mom or dad or parents to a tire shop and you hear out there that thing that goes zzz, zzz. Well, it's used for tightening and loosening bolts and lug nuts on all kinds of stuff. So you can change tires and build all kinds of stuff with it. Hey, you guys want to check this out and see how good it works? All right. Hey, I have this awesome possum nifty screw right here and we're going to drive it in a piece of wood. You guys ready? All right, check it out. All right, so we're going to put it in there. There we go. There we go. All right, we got her going. Got her going. All right, there it is. Wow, this thing is uh, really on there. Okay, well actually, actually, I did this on purpose to show you guys how cool impact drivers and screws really are and how well they work at uh, holding things, well, together. So this next awesome possible tool that we have is what you call a drill. How cool is that? Now drills are used for all kinds of stuff. You can drill through metal, wood, and all kinds of awesome possum stuff. And you know what the coolest part is? The drill looks just like a candy cane. How cool is that? Hey, you guys wanna drill some cool holes with this drill? I bet you do. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna go over here. All right, we're gonna get started. All right, here we go, here we go. She'll be coming through the tube before when she comes. She'll be coming through the tube before when she comes. She'll be coming through the tube of four, coming through the tube of four, coming through the tube of four when she comes. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, that was nice and smooth. Look how smooth and straight that hole is. That is so cool. And check out the sawdust. Look how big these chunks are. That is so cool. Hey, look, look, look. So this next awesome possum tool that I have is what you call a reciprocating saw. And reciprocating saws are used to cut all kinds of stuff. You can cut metal, wood, and all kinds of really cool stuff with them. And check out these teeth. I mean, look at these teeth. It almost looks like the jaws of an alligator or crocodile or even a dinosaur. How cool is that? Hey, do you guys want to cut some wood with me? I bet you do. All right, well, safety first. Gotta put on our trusty dusty glasses. And here we go. All right, gonna get ready. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow, look at that. How cool is that? Reciprocating saw. I love it. All right, so this next awesome possum tool that we have is what you call an angle grinder. And angle grinders are primarily used for grinding metal. How cool is that? And this right here is what you call an abrasive wheel. Wow, abrasive, that's a really big word. Why don't we ask our good friend, the word wizard, what abrasive means? Hey, word wizard, hey, are you up there? Hey, what does the word abrasive mean? 
Okay, cool, cool. So the word wizard says that abrasive is just something that's really rough that's used to grind things down. How cool is that? Awesome, thanks word wizard. Hey, you guys wanna grind some metal with me and see some sparks fly? I bet you do. All right, let's do it. All right, glasses on. All right, here we go, here we go. Ready? And we came to an abrupt stop. How cool is that? Angle grinder. I love it. All right, so our next awesome, awesome tool that we have is what you call a sander. Now, sanders are used on all kinds of different stuff from metal to wood, and it helps to make it really smooth. And it does that with an abrasive, like we discussed earlier with the word wither. An abrasive is just something that's rough that's used to grind or wear things down. Hey, you guys want to sand some wood with me? All right, let's get after it. Our glasses on, and we are going to polish this all up. Here we go. How awesome is that? Look at that. We sanded down almost all that ink off the wood and it is so super duper smooth. Sanders, they're super duper cool. Awesome, awesome. Hey y'all, so our next cool tool that we have is pretty basic and it's called a hammer. Hammers are just used for pounding on stuff and driving nails. Hey, you guys wanna drive a nail with me? All right, cool. Look, we got a candy cane nail. Let's drive it. How cool is that? All right, I'm gonna put it on here, a piece of wood, and we're gonna get the hammering. All right, there we go. We'll get started. Wow, how cool is that? A hammer and a nail. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, so our next awesome tools are what you call screwdrivers. And I have them right here. Check these out. So this is what you call a flathead screwdriver. Well, because it has a flathead. And this is what you call a Phillips head screwdriver. And you know why it's called a Phillips head? Because, well, his name is Philip. No, I'm just kidding. I actually don't know why this is called a Phillips head screwdriver. But this is a really important one that you need to remember. Because I bet you, a lot of the toys that you have require a Phillips head screwdriver to either assemble them or to change the batteries. So next time you need something assembled or you need the batteries changed, make sure you remember to tell your parents, hey, I think you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. I bet you they're gonna be super duper impressed. Awesome. All right, guys, so our next awesome, awesome tool are what you call channel locks. And they're called channel locks because they run inside a giant channel and you can move it up and down to lock it. Now, Ms. Farmer Red always said, hey, Farmer Red, you have a really giant screw loose. So I got these to try to fix it. But unfortunately, some things are just beyond repair. So the next awesome tool are what you call slip joint pliers. Now, slip joint pliers are probably one of the handiest tools out there and you can use it for almost everything. And how they work, you can adjust the size of the pliers. Oh, they're a little tough. You can make them wider if you need to. You can make them narrower if you need to as well. How cool is that? Hey, you guys want me to show you how hard these can bite? They bite almost like a shark. Let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna put on this wood. We're gonna squeeze down really hard. Wow, look at that. It left all kinds of teeth and prints. You see that? It bites really hard, just like a shark. Ooh, slip joint pliers. Those are related to my friend, needle nose pliers. Now needle nose pliers are really cool too because you can cut things with them because they have a little cutting blade right there. And also they're pretty handy for getting into small areas like if you need to pick some boogers. No, that's just a joke. You should never use these for that. The needle nose pliers are really cool. And they're also awesome if you go fishing and you need to remove a fish hook. Cool, needle nose pliers, awesome. Hey guys, our next awesome, awesome tool is what you call a tape measure. And tape measures are really important because if you're building stuff, you need to make sure that everything is uniform. Hey, you guys wanna check out this tape measure with me? All right, let's do it. Check these out. So these are what you call inches. You probably recognize these numbers from when you were learning to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
12. Hey, we're at 12. I wonder what that big black mark means. Hey, why don't we ask our good friend, the number wizard, how many inches are in a foot? Hey, number wizard. Hey, are you up there? Hey, I have a quick question for you. How many inches are in a foot? Really? Okay, that is awesome. So, our good friend, the number wizard, says that there are 12 inches in a foot. That is why, on this tape measure, you can see every time we count to 12, there's a big black mark that says one F, which means one foot. And if we go out to two, look, there's the same thing. How cool is that? And if we go out to three, oh, we're getting pretty high with numbers right there. I'm not sure if I can count that high. We're at three feet. And if we go out to four, look at that. 48 inches is four feet. And that's our measuring tape. So cool. Oh wow, look, it's beeping. So this is what you call a stud finder. You can use this for finding two by fours and other lumber that's behind a wall. So in case you have to maybe hang a TV or picture or do any construction, you can use this to find out exactly where the two by fours are behind the wall. How cool is that? Hey, you guys wanna find another one? All right, let's look. It's the ultimate game of hide and seek. Here I come, here I come, Mr. Stud. Coming, there it is, there's another one. Hot, tag, you're it. Hey, let's see if we can find another stud. <gasps> see if it works on me. Oh look, I'm definitely a stud too. How cool is that? Stud finder. All right, so our next to last tool that we have is what you call a wrench. The wrenches are really cool. And this one is actually adjustable. You can make it wider if you have a really big nutter bolt and you can make it smaller if you have a smaller one. So just like this, we have a smaller bolt. We're gonna adjust it so it fits it just like that. Now, when you wanna tighten a nut or bolt, you're gonna go clockwise, which is the direction of the clock. You spin it just like that, and that is how you tighten it. And there's a saying that is righty tidy, which means you go right to tighten, and lefty loosey, which means you go left to loosen. And by going this way, that is what you call counterclockwise because it is the opposite direction that a clock turns. How cool is that? <gasps> Adjustable wrench, awesome. So the next awesome tool that we have is what you call a level. And it's pretty much a bubble in a bottle. And you can use a level for figuring out if stuff is well level. So like, look, we can put it on this table, see if this table is level. Oh, the bubble is not in between the lines. So that means that this side of the table would have to come up a little bit. How cool is that? Now levels are super handy for when you're building all kinds of stuff where you need it to be straight. <gasps> levels, how awesome is that? Now I've oftentimes uh, thought I was a pretty level-headed guy until I found a level and figured out, well, I'm a little off too. Hey, farmers of farm rents. Well, that's about all we have time for today, but I hope you had a really awesome time with me exploring all these awesome, cool power tools and hand tools. And hey, if you wanna join me on other cool, awesome adventures in the future, then go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button at the bottom of the screen. And remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and it really goes a long way in helping to support the channel. So all right guys, why well, I gotta run, but hey, y'all be good out there. Y'all come back now here. All right, bye.